Hello, we are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. With the frame assembled, manifold in place, and all your plumbing completed, it is time to install the evacuated tubes. It is important to lubricate the open end of the tube that will enter the manifold so that you do not damage the manifold's internal gaskets when inserting the tubes. Water should do the trick, but if you find you are still having trouble, add a little soap and lubricate the openings of the manifold as well. Avoid using lubricants such as WD-40, as the lubricant you use will find its way into your pool water. After the tubes are lubricated, it is advisable to add the gasket to the tube. The smooth finished side should face to the base of the tube, the rougher end of the gasket will fit snug against the manifold. To insert the tube into the manifold, take the open end of the tube and place it into the opening of the manifold. Holding firmly, gently oscillate the tube until you feel it move into place. Never force a tube, as you may damage the tube or the gaskets in the manifold. When you are satisfied the tube is in the manifold, proceed to attach the plastic cup to the slotted bottom bracket, while still holding the tube firm. To attach the cup, simply slide it over the base of the tube, inserting the top plastic clip into the smaller top slot. The bottom clip will need to be pinched while being inserted into the bottom slot. Once inserted into the bottom slot, release your grip and it will lock into place. When you are inserting the tubes, you should insert one on either end of the collector before any others to ensure the system is squared up. When satisfied, proceed to tighten the nuts and bolts of the manifold to hold it firmly into place. You can tell the system is square when the gap between the manifold and the tube at the manifold openings is equidistant along the whole of the circumference. Now that all the tubes are in place, slide the gaskets up towards the manifold until they are flush. When attaching multiple pool collectors together, we recommend the use of silicone sleeves as seen here. These sleeves are high temperature resistant silicone and allow you to easily connect multiple systems together. This is a more traditional connection configuration with a vent. All pool systems require a vent to avoid pressurization. Once in place, you can attach irrigation hose to a reducer at the base of the vent. Irrigation hose can be used for both supply and return lines. 
It is also possible to use CPVC or Schedule 80 for your fittings. However, if your system stagnates for any reason, it is possible these fittings will warp or deteriorate. 